uh, kind of underwhelmed. So I, I don't know what to think about Texas Spears, but I'm hopeful that this is going to be a good one. Um, I think it's time just to get to it. Welcome back to another episode of the Beards Bourbon Whiskey Podcast. The whole gang is in the building, man. Got my man Angry Principal holding it down. What's up? Got my man Bo in the building. I say. And of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. So we all the way from the red zone, but we going all the way down to Texas, dog. The big, stupid, huge continent of itself down you know in Texas, You know how big dog. Texas is? This just brought, brought up a, a, a quick memory. <laughs> What's up? Quick with this. Yeah. No, so, I was getting out of the Army. And I remember I was driving back from El Paso all the uh, way back to, to, to Michigan and whatnot, gosh. right? Yep. Texas so big, I drove out that motherfucker into New Mexico, <laughs> back into Texas. <laughs> <laughs> that's so big that shit. Yeah. yeah dude. Yo, that's wild. I've never been to Texas, bro. It's, yeah, it's something. It's something. It's something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's yeah, something. It's a, I will say this: West mm. Texas and East Texas, they almost like two different countries. Really? From my experience, anyway, okay. This was wild. Yeah, anyway. my bad. Nah, shout out to Texas, dog. Yeah. Shit, they twelve hours apart. They better be. They better be yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a huge state, bro. Yeah, yeah. Now, what what I'm excited about with with this one though is that this is actually something that was gifted to us. All right, shout out to uh, El Whiskey Lero. That's on uh that's on IG. Make sure you follow him, man. Uh, hooked us up with a bottle of Steel Austin Straight Rye Whiskey. Right, so this is a bottle and bond though, so it's a hundred proof, uh, and it's rye. Right, so I know we always had this conversation about rye, but I actually uh. Okay, I'm coming. I'm I'm coming, coming along with Rise. Yeah, coming I'm coming around, around with him. Yeah. So I'm definitely excited to see uh you know what's to this. Angry principal then found some some more interesting facts yeah. <laughs> about the steel Austin though and the distiller down there. Uh, what what was we talking about off camera though? Well, okay, so one, this is 100% rye, Texas rye. Okay, they want to make sure that they. Make sure you know that this is from Texas. It's supposed to be a <laughs> grain to glass distillery. So they, I, I guess they're tracking where they get their grains from, and they may have partnerships with different farms mm -hmm. and things like that. So they're trying to really dope, like become a craft distillery. Yeah. They're trying to do that. And they got a lot of brands in here, okay. but uh, they got this thing called the Order of Nancy, <laughs> and uh, I thought it was kind of cool because it's like a little secret club for them. Yeah, I, I don't think they have any spaces now, but it's. Okay. Uh, see, it, they said come back later, there may be a spot that opens, okay, but right so now they got more okay. members than they can take. So, so we, we that's part of the gang now. Hey, <laughs> man. I think, I think that means like honorary, like degree for us. There you right? go. You know, sure. like, at least it's honorary. You know, <laughs> yeah, right? I take it. Yeah. <laughs> now, that's dope, though. But I, what I'm really uh, curious, though, is to how I'm going to enjoy it. Because I have to be honest, I, I think a few months ago we did Devil's River, which is also a, 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 from a Texas distiller. And I was uh, kind of underwhelmed. So I, I don't know what to think about Texas Spears, but I'm hopeful that this is going to be a good one. Um, I think it's time just to get to it, though. Go check out the court and see how that go. See, that's going to be the opening act right there. Yeah, let's pause for the court. Okay. All right. Pretty All right. good. Pretty, Pretty good. Pretty decent. Okay. And also, too, uh, what I wanted to mention is that the, uh, uh, what is it on the front? I forgot which, which one is rabbit. this. Rabbit. All right. So the, the one with the rabbit on the front is the uh, 2024 uh, spring version. All right. So this okay. is one of the newer versions. Uh, it was aged for five and a half years. Uh, again, bottled and bond. So we're looking at 100 proof on that. Kind of excited to see what it's going to be like. Sales for 80 bucks. And this is a seasonal release for them so they okay. only they 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 release it and they give the artwork based on what season what season okay that it's going to be released in. Makes so this sense is a for spring, spring. Yeah, this is a spring time release for sure all right so let's see what we got here let's check that out all right okay. let's see what we got we got some legs on it not super oily so not that's good oily. yeah I like that, man. Spicy. Get some, get some spicy, spicy vanilla. Spicy, yeah, spicy. Some spicy vanilla, yeah. I mean, it is a rye, so. Yeah. You're right. You're spicy vanilla. Yeah. yeah. Maybe a little is. cherry. Maybe a little I bit. got grape. Grape? I got grape off of it. Some kind of reddish fruit, yeah, I think. I'm yeah, I'm some cherry. I'm not getting any cherry or apple. Nah. Let's see what it tastes like, though. 
A lot of vanilla. I guess. Well, damn. Oh, well, damn. This is a. Say lemon? Yeah, I'm about to say something citrusy. Lemon, a little yeah. bit almost Maybe on the finish to me. I get some heavy lemon, heavy spicy lemon, then or, or, or vanilla. It's some and chocolate. Then some kind in there. of citrus, citrusy fruit on, on on the on the finish. It's some chocolate in there somewhere. As you in, it's like a dark chocolate. Okay, I know. So it's like okay. that bitter chocolate. Yeah. I get that, but that's at the end. Like a cocoa, like a deep, like yeah. a dark, yeah, dark cocoa. This is actually pretty good. I'm up with this. This is actually pretty good. I ain't gonna lie to you. Again, I'm not a. I wasn't originally, you know, a, a, a fan for real of uh, rye. Yeah. But I'm a rye. Yeah. I, this I'm is this is good. I still don't get the cherries or apples, but I do get the grape, the lemon, and the dark chocolate dark at, chocolate the, end at the, end. the end on the finish. <laughs> but it disappears. It's pretty complex. There's a lot of shit going on. <laughs> yeah, but it just, this disappears for me once it hits the back of the sun. It's gone. Yeah. It's, it's very peppery though. It's, oh yeah. It's, oh, yeah, it's yeah, sticking, yeah, to, yeah. It's sticking it's, to the rye. It's, it's sticking to the rye. Yeah. For sure. I like it. Yeah, don't have spicy Mexican and then this. You're in trouble. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm bad. Texas rye. Yeah, Texas, Texas rye. rye. Texas, Texas rye. Texas rye. Exactly. We Texas got you. Rye. We got you. Yeah. All right, El Whiskey Lero. I kind of fucks with this, though. El Whiskey Lero. Cheers, my brother. I like this. And, and, and even though it's not the traditional, like, obviously, for a rye, it wouldn't be. But, like, for me to like it, usually I would think something sweet has to be in it. Yeah. But it... But it I don't need it. Like it's actually this is good. That it's lemon good. really what's like the, brings out everything in this. I like what's the proof on this? Uh, hundred proof. Hundred proof. Bottom bottom, 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 right? Yeah. Yeah. Now this is this is dope. This is dope. I like this. So I guess uh, I guess we gotta go around the block and see what y'all are thinking. You know, for real, for real. That label, all right though. Oh, shout! There you go. Yeah. Still Austin. Yeah. I like this shit though. I like it. And, and I'm going to tell you one thing too that I think is cool about it is that it is a rye, but honestly, and I haven't had a lot of ryes, mm -hmm. but I think I like it because I don't have anything that I can compare it to. Like, I feel like this is, like, I know that it's rye because of the spiciness, but it don't taste like anything I've ever had before. So, I think my. My favorite rye is probably that Jack Daniels uh, uh, special. <laughs> that, that, yeah, you love that. And I, that's yeah. probably my favorite rye, right? I, I ain't with it, but yeah. I think <laughs> that's cool. But <laughs> this, that's cool. I, I, this doesn't surpass that, but mm -hmm. it's it's up there. It, it, it's competing. It's in yeah. the fight, you know. Okay. It's I think my comparison is Traverse City rye. Traverse City rye. And Traverse City rye is good. I think it's it holds up pretty well with it. Yeah, this might be a little bit better than Traverse City actually. Now that chocolate comes out with the cigar. Okay. I'm smoking an yeah, Emperor's yeah. Cut. Emperor's uh -huh. Cut out of Houston, Texas. Uh, Emperor's black owned company. Yeah. Oh, so, man. We all Texas today. Yeah, so okay. I am smoking an Emperor's Cut, and it yeah. really does a good job of bringing that bringing chocolate, that chocolate out, out at the end. Okay. Yeah. No, that's kind of dope, though. Yeah, I'll I fuck with it. All right, so you already know how that works. So we got the uh, preliminary analysis. Uh, we go shoot to commercial break. Uh, maybe even. Want to try a splash of water after this, maybe, or or do y'all really do that with rice? I don't know. Maybe that's not a rye I thing. Mean, you can't hurt with a rye. Let's try it. Yeah, 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 we can give it a shot. So we're gonna go to commercial break real quick. But when we get back, you'll get that uh, one to five black power fist ratings, and maybe we will add a little splash of water to it. But we'll see you on the other end. But till then, you already know what it is, man. Everybody loves BBW. That's beards, bourbon, whiskey. The podcast. We'll be back in a minute. Visit the website right now, www.everybodylovesbbw. That's beards, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. And we're back. Thank you guys for hanging out through the commercial breaks. You already know what it is, man. Everybody loves BBW. That's beards, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. Whole gang is back in the building, man. Uh, add a little splash of water to it. So we go... See what happens. Uh, I, I see the nod of approval. All right. So all of a sudden, you know, I, I love cutting grass. So this it smell, like it smells like fresh cut grass. It's had that when I put the water in. All of a sudden, I got a grass smell to Maybe it. Maybe that's that that lemony. That might be yeah, lemon, lemon grass or something. Yeah. The cigar did open it up for me a little bit, though. Yeah. Brought out some more flavor. Brought out that chocolate for sure, like you mentioned. Yeah. But uh, I, I'm not really a fan of that, that heavy vanilla on, ooh, some yeah. on, on the nose mm -hmm. and uh, 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 
Yeah, and that chocolate all on, on the finish, man. Yeah, I think the water brings out the chocolate a little bit too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but it definitely With mellowed the, the taste a little bit. Yeah, it takes away the, the pepper. The water, yeah, so. it takes away the pepper. Huh. I like it either way though. Like it, I don't have a like. I can have it either way. You know how sometimes you add water, it's like, oh, this is way better, so I'm gonna have it that way. But I think with this one, I could have it either way. So I would probably, on a on a chill day, I could throw a cube of ice in that joint and still like still enjoy it just the same. So definitely don't want to mix it with anything though. Like no, I, I no, think no. this is this is good to go as is. And don't I eat would. spicy food. Don't pair it with anything yeah, spicy. Yeah, yeah, don't be sitting there eating a spicy burrito no. <laughs> or some hot Doritos because <laughs> I eat hot Doritos. Sometimes, but anyway, you know how Doritos. You can start a fire with Doritos. You know what? <laughs> what? Yeah, survival tactic. <laughs> you fucking Straight serious? Up. I'm serious as heart attack. You can start a fire you with start Doritos. Fire with Doritos. <laughs> you know how many Doritos I've ingested <laughs> in my life? <laughs> Damn. Yeah. So, <laughs> angry principal, we're gonna start with you, dog. We're gonna go ahead and give it a rating system, dog. On a one to five, Black Power Fist ratings, dog. What you giving it today? All right, so. You know we got to compare a little bit. Okay. So I am mm-hmm. putting it up against Traverse City Traverse. Rye. Mm-hmm. I am putting up against Uncle Nearest Rye. Mm-hmm. So with that, I think it holds its own. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I would... I'd give it a 3.75. Damn. For me. Okay. Because if you're looking for a rye, you want the pepper, you're getting all of that. Getting mm-hmm. that. The sure. fact that the taste changed when I put a little bit of water, mm-hmm. not only did it mellow, but all of a sudden I got this... Because, like I said, my grass. favorite thing is cutting grass. Yeah. So, all of a sudden, to get that smell, and yeah. it, it made it even more endearing to me. So, gotcha. I'm going 3.75. Okay, that's what's up. Three and a quarter. And three and quarter. Three quarter. Three, 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 that I'm really excited about, you know. Right. There's a couple. You know, uh, Uncle Nearest Rye is okay to me. I'm not a big fan of it. <laughs> uh, the Traverse City Rye is it, pretty good. I like that one. That uh, uh, Jack Daniels uh, special uh, rye. That's, that's, that's probably my favorite. That's your favorite. <laughs> I'm going to put this right behind that Jack Daniels, man. Okay. I'm going to give this a solid four. Okay. Damn. Yeah. This is solid. I'm a, I'm, I'm a fan. Okay. okay, I dig that. Yeah, Especially for Leroy, my indigenous Tahano brother. Nice job. For sure. Appreciate that, though. I, and I ain't going to lie. I'm glad that we like it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, only, I'm glad that we like it because we are honest. And if we didn't like it, I, I would hate to oh, be the we one would, to tell you. We would definitely say it. 1.5. So. <laughs> yeah. We've given some ones. So, now this is this is dope, though. So, you said, you said a straight four. Mm-hmm. 3.75. I'm going to give it a three and a half. Um... I like it. I mean, obviously, I'm I'm not completely sold on rise yet, but as far as rise go, this is definitely for me my comparison, not in taste profile, but my comparison to what I like, mm-hmm. uh, which would be the Uncle Nearest rye. I think this is this is neck and neck, which I actually had some uh, last night. So shout out to the Loft out in Farmington, Michigan, uh, where I had a, a you know some Uncle Nearest rye. But this is this is really close to that. And to be honest with you, I hate to say it, but if I had to choose between the two, I actually like this one better like i actually like this one better than uncle nearest which is a, saying a lot for me because i for whatever reason i give a lot of credence to uh uncle nearest pro- product so like <laughs> for me to put it above it's that quality is, has it's quality has products it's quality like can't be yeah, mad about yeah. it so but yeah it's still austin is on point uh 100 proof rye um i fuck with it yeah, but you know what last night i had some piggyback rye okay what's the piggy? i never had that now that's a Canadian, mm-hmm. so it's got a softer taste to it. Yeah, I, I, having the two of them to compare, I like the punchiness of this over mm-hmm. the more mellow uh, uh, piggyback. Uh, yeah, whistle so I, 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 I'm finding with the rye, I do want that spice, I do want that kick, yeah, and this good. does a good job of of kicking you. So no, <laughs> sure. it does yeah, a good job. I'm looking at that rabbit, thinking about a rabbit kick. But, <laughs> right. <laughs> for sure, and just like the. The subtle, uh, a little subtle sweetness for me that that's setting it off because yeah. I, I have to have a little sweetness. Some that vanilla. Yeah, a little yeah. vanilla in there. Yeah, yeah. A nice little subtle sweetness. So yeah, for sure, I'm giving it a three and a half. So that's four, three and a half, three seven five. Um, so, pretty solid. Yeah, so, that's pretty solid. Average that's, three and three quarters. What's so. that called? The mean. Right, right. The mean. Mean, 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 mean. Yeah. 
<laughs> we math good. I'm telling you, we math good. I, I don't math good. I, I am not claiming that. I will not claim that. But no, I, I think this is a this is a solid effort right here. Shout out, shout out again to at Whiskey Lero, man. Thank you for the love. Um, Steel Austin, the uh, this this is dope. I fucks with it, dog. This is dope. Yeah, for sure. All right, so we go uh, we go drink some more, <laughs> but then we go get out of here. So. Make sure that you check out all the replays at www.everybodylovesbbw.com and uh, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And if you want to, you know, because Steel Austin sent us something to review. If you would like to send us something to review, just hit me in my inbox. That's q.lewis313 on Instagram, dog. We can uh, hook something up. We definitely do a review. And be aware that we are honest. All right, so if we don't like it, we going to tell you. Even if you send it to us for free, like, we still, we going to tell you we don't like it. But uh, that's it. To the next time, man, make sure you check out all the replays, and we'll be back next week with a whole nother spirit. Same shirt, but it's going to be a whole nother episode. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about that. <laughs> I got my man angry principal in the building. Drink what you like, how you like. <laughs> my man Bo holding it down. I say. And, of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live. From the 48205, man. Peace out, y'all.